Yo, what's up guys? So we've got an image sent in and we're going to be working with this awesome image right here. So as you can see, his style has a strong fade to it. Got to take out a lot of that vibrance. And yeah, you guys can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll put all of his links down there. So give him a follow down there, guys. And I'll also put a link to his presets here. So you guys can come over here and check them out for yourself. And if we go back into Instagram, let's create something pretty moody, pretty underexposed and really flat like this. Okay, here's the edited image and the raw unedited one that he has sent us. So first thing, we'll just up the exposure. Let's bump up the contrast. I'm going to take out a lot of the contrast with the curves. So I'll just add a bit in here. Because when we add that fade, that's going to take out a lot of that contrast. But give it a real flat look. Uh, let's bring up the shadows can we, so we can see more of the image. Blacks can come up. Highlights down. And whites. Because we don't... We want to keep it kind of flat. So... Just bringing these whites down so there's not too much of a pop. Okay, let's do some curves now. I'll just drop the vibrance by 21st because vibrance sort of does what it says it does. It takes away the brighter, more poppier tones so you get a flatter look to your colors. Um, right, let's do the curves. Okay, so that's the curves done. To show you what I did, I only did a very small amount of changing in the curves here because we don't have a lot of contrast in this image. So just a real small amount, fine tweak, bringing in just this real small S curve. That's all just a tiny pop to those colors, and then we've got this real nice gradual S curve. So the fade quite slowly uh, fades away the fade quite slowly transitions away so you want this nice slow fade so if we get rid of this you can see that's without it and with it so that's what we want and okay so up here again let's take down clarity and that's what's gonna help get that creamy look to the image real soft creamy flat look so clarity down and then just a little bit of dehaze dehaze is just sometimes just a a bit away of adding a contrast into the brighter areas so you can see a bit more of the detail go with about there let's bring down that contrast a bit okay moving on let's do some split toning so we want in the highlights I'm thinking a bit of a purple and then you can see down here in the shadows we've got this almost of an orange it's kind of warm almost a brown so we're going to go for orange in the shadows or yellow And then for the highlights, 
can see way back there everything is looking a little more on the purple side so I'm gonna put some blue or purple in there maybe more of a blue I'll put quite a bit in there okay that looks good let's move on to HSL and fine-tune some of these colors so let's work with the yellows yellows affect a lot of the greens and I want to move them a bit more towards in orange you can see how they are a bit more of a warmer color and then oranges um, blues a bit more towards a purple maybe and then saturation will really bring down these greens these greens are far too saturated there And then these yellows, yellows affect the brighter greens, kind of. Bring them up. Oranges. You want quite desaturated skin tones. Let's bring them down. And let's take down these blues as well. You can see there's a bit too much in that water there. And then just bring down the aquas roughly with it. Okay, luminance. I think don't need much changing here. You're just a tiny bit affecting the oranges. Just bring it down a touch. Give that little bit of shine to the to the greens and to the edges of things. Just bring up the yellows a little bit. Then I might deepen the greens just a touch. And a little bit of a shine to the blues. Okay, moving on. We want a little bit of a vignette affecting the image, so a bit darker around the sides. So to do that, uh, here let's bring it down and then the midpoint is about right there around this and then feather it out And then lift the highlights because you don't want the vignette affecting the the highlights or the brighter areas. So you can it's only it's only a small effect, but you can see how it's just not affecting those brighter areas just as much. Okay, we've got a, just a tiny bit of grain in there. And then if we go to sharpening, so we lowered the clarity a lot to get that creamy look to the image, but now our image looks a little soft, so we'll add quite a bit of sharpening in. But we still get that creamy look to the image. Um... noise I think we're good and yeah that could be it come down 
and I am happy with that one guys pretty close so you guys make sure you go give him a follow down in the description his links will be down there let him know that you found him through this tutorial and comment other people you guys want to see so comment people that don't have many followers on Instagram but have really great images so if you comment them down in the comment section I'll go through there and reach out to those people and ask them to send in a photo and then I can do a tutorial on them so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, check out the presets if you're liking these tutorials just a ton of awesome feedback on them you guys are really loving those and if you guys are into video color grading check the links in the description there will be a few tutorials on that and yeah thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one cheers